Hello everyone. Got a package from one of my favourite companies. Quiet PC. It says quietpc.com on it, but I use the UK version. In here we have an AMD APU. Get it open. The 4300GE to be exact. Gonna have to blur that out. It cost 135 before tax and delivery. 170 all in. And they're always quite nice to send a stock caller. Which they don't have to do, of course, but they do. And here we go. One four thousand three hundred GE. Now I always wanted the four thousand seven hundred GE when I saw it was announced, but uh, can't get one of those at all. So this is what we got. Now, from my previous videos, well, previous video, the four thousand three hundred. And 50G has some configurable TDP settings, which is, and that has a 65 watt chip, and you can put, knock it down to 35 watt. It didn't seem to make a scrap of difference. This is, for all intents and purposes, a 35 watt chip, but it is clocked identical to its big brother. So I'm not convinced. That, um, well, I'm definitely not convinced that this is going to actually be 35 watt in what I would expect. Because I think this basically going to be a lot of throttling going on. And it's going to be pulling probably about 50, 60 of the wall. But enough about that. Let's go whack this into machine and let's have a quick look at power consumption. I will be doing a bigger video of this later. A full review, but for right now, it's going to be just some power consumption. So, let's go drop this into the test bench and let's see what power we get. And while I'm doing this, you can see that here was the test run I did with the 4350G. The power consumption across the board was pretty much identical. This was even with an undervolt as well. So, the power consumption stayed consistent throughout. And I've done the same with the 4750G and I haven't got a graph to show that one but it was the same. The power consumption didn't make a scrap of difference, it just all you really saw was there was some throttling going on earlier to try and maintain the temperature but that's all I really saw. And let's be honest that's what all TDP really is isn't it? It's about how much heat is coming off the chip rather than how much power is consumed, but you would expect if you had a 35 watt TDP chip, it would consume in the region of 35 watts. But anyway, we've got this all set up, it's booted up. I'm going to run the Final Fantasy 15 benchmark for an hour, which is what's been my test run, because it's reasonably consistent, stresses the GPU and the CPU, and it gives me a decent figure to work from. So after an hour, so, no shocks, this chip is doing exactly the same as the 4350G with the CDDP setting. So, what's the point of this chip? Don't know. I will be doing a big review on this later to see if there's a performance difference and how well it performs with a smaller cooler, let's say. But for now, the power consumption is identical, so... So what I have to say really, so thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye.